Hey there, so welcome to part two of what your glasses prescription means. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about what it means when there's letters in your prescription and not numbers. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about what it means when there's an ad in your prescription. I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, and this is Good Optometry Morning. Welcome to part two of Spectacle Prescriptions. In the first part, we explained all about the numbers and the different uh, notation and the different features of a prescription. Now we're going to talk about some particular uh, unique cases of what to do. And now we talked about in the sphere component that you'll have a plus or minus value and then a the value for the number, for example, minus 250 or plus 450. These would give you a value that well, someone might be nearsighted or farsighted. So what happens when you have the unique case of having zero for a value? So one option is that you can simply write out zero, 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 and uh, that would indicate zero. Then we're left with the situation is that plus zero or a minus zero, which is remains a little bit awkward and a little bit messy. So optometrists, we typically don't do that. Rather than doing that, the value of the sphere is zero, we will write Plano, referring to a plane lens or a zero power lens. Sometimes that is shortened to PL. So in this situation, if and rather than the value being some other value for the sphere, you would be writing PL, PL. And uh, if they have some type of cylinder, then you would write that value in. So let's say it's minus one at axis 180. And then let's say this one's Plano at uh, minus 0.75 axis. 90. What that tells us is that the Plano value is zero for the sphere. Okay, so then let's look at this situation. What happens if the cylinder is zero? So in this case, we have the sphere that is the Plano, and let's say the cylinder is zero as well. Well, as we uh, talked about previously, both the sill and the axis, they both describe portions of the astigmatism. The cylinder describes the amount of the astigmatism, and the axis describes the direction of the astigmatism. So if the value of the cylinder is zero, then the axis is actually meaningless. It doesn't apply that which direction you turn the, the value when it is equal to zero. So likewise, it's a little bit awkward to write zero and then have some, um, just leave the axis blank. There is a different notation for when the cylinder is equal to zero, and the notation for that is DS. DS stands for diopter's sphere, which is an indication that in this prescription there is no astigmatism and that the whole power is a spherical lens. So as a quick review, when the sphere is equal to zero, then we write Plano or PL. Um, when the cylinder is equal to zero, then we will write DS. Now I'm going to be talking about another uh, feature of a spectacle prescription. This is a feature called the ad. Up until now, we've been talking about what we call single vision lenses. And in order to make a single vision lens, that's a lens that only corrects to help you focus at one distance. We need the sphere, cylinder, and axis components. If we're going to make a multifocal lens, we need to include the add power. Now the add power is going to be a standard notation much like the sphere in that it's going to have plus power at the front and then a value behind it. Much like the cylinder portion in minus sill prescriptions is always in a minus notation, the in the add power it's always going to be a plus power. You'll never see a, a minus in front of it. So you'll always put a plus, but you still write that value in, and then you could have a value in diopters behind it. The uh, There is a range in all the the sphere and the cylinder and the add power that typically you will find. Um, we'll start talking about the add power, but the range from the add power, it's typically going to range from you know, plus 75 up to possibly plus four. It can go higher, but uh, very often you don't see it high, higher than plus four. The most common stock ranges that you'll find these in will be between plus 75 and actually plus 250. Usually if you're going over plus 250, it's gonna be a custom order type of lens. For a cylinder, uh, the range in values, it can range anywhere from minus 0.25 and it can range up to you know as high as you want but typically you don't see it much higher than minus 250 there will definitely be situations where you'll see it higher minus you know four or minus 
you know, five, higher, or whatever. Um, but uh, they're much, much less common. The stock range, again, will be typically uh, between minus 0.25 and minus 250. But you can see certainly higher numbers. If you do see higher numbers than minus 250, you must be aware of that. For the sphere value, uh, as we talked about in the previous lesson, that can be either plus or minus. If it's a plus value, a very high uh, plus value is going to be, you know, six or higher. You're often not going to see it much higher than six. You'll sometimes see it up to eight but very, very rarely that you'll see it over over 10. In the minus values, they can range at much much higher uh, strengths. You, It's not uncommon to see a minus 4. It's not uncommon to see a minus 6. Um, it's not uncommon to see a minus 10 even. You don't get into extreme ranges until you get up to about minus 15. All right, so if there's some terms that I didn't explain, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, there's a couple more interesting videos here. And if you like information like this about your eyes or optometry or your vision, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get more of these videos and have a great optometry day.